Well, you know, the Cubs have certainly certainly uh, made a statement in that opening series. Uh, they did not win game three, however, which would have been nice to do to sweep the Brewers. To uh, At this point, it's their only victory of the season. Uh, despite good pitching out of, out of my boy, Marcus Stroman, the Stro Show, his debut as, as a Cub on Sunday. I picked him up in our fantasy league. Uh, he had five solid innings. Uh, the bullpen va- basically uh, wore, ruined it for everybody. But Cubs did have a chance to come back and tie it late in the game. But one Jonathan Villar should have had an infield single that could have scored the, that would have had the scoring RB, uh, game tying RBI actually with runners on base. Except he chose to dive into first base. Ooh. And I don't know how many times we have to talk about this. It, it is this, maybe it's the second dumbest thing in baseball is behind the tickle fight is diving into home plate or diving into first base because you are, are immediately decelerating the moment you le- lose your feet. Uh, you know, you are by physics alone, you are not you have the opportunity to run through the bag and keep accelerating and you choose to decelerate and dive for the bag. And the, the, the weirdest thing is I see people still defending this and I don't know how this is not taught and how that this is not just beaten into every major league player's mind, how coaches aren't talking about this every day. Do not slide into first base. I even saw in, people that I respect on Twitter including Brett Taylor, the guy that runs uh, Bleacher Nation, said that he he wasn't totally in in favor of it. He did say there was evidence, there is research suggesting if you do it perfectly, you might get there fast. I'm like, okay, if you do this perfectly, you might get there faster. Uh, The problem is Jonathan Villar didn't do it close to perfectly. He basically did a face dive. You can see he had to he basically his chest and face hit the hit the dirt before he even got to the bag. Then he slides in slowly, which there's even photography that shows he may have been safe, but his hand may have been in. There was a long review and everything else. But it, it's, it's it's funny you're bringing this up today, though, because I I heard something today that totally backs up what you and I have been saying on this podcast whenever we see, you know, like Luri Garcia decides he's going to slide into first or, you know, some, Mm -hmm. some feisty little guy thinks the slide is going to get him there. I've seen, but but, but yeah, but brought it up today um, and stone Mm. backed him up on it saying that the reason Lewis Robert has been super successful so far in stealing bases is because he slides so late. And by sliding late, you've got more momentum going into the bag. And Ricky Henderson also slid very late when like stealing all the bags that he stole. He's like, you just have to make sure you stay on the bag. If you're still in second or third, but the art of stealing is, is really uh, they're, they're like a lot more bases could be stolen if people had could time their slide correctly. Thus, playing back into the conversation of what the Bart Tool sports guy was saying, in that if you executed it perfectly, but oh me, no, that's Bleacher Nation. Oh, Bleacher Taylor, Nation. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Bleacher Nation saying that if you timed it perfectly, but you know, second's a lot different than first. And to your point, you can run through the bag. You don't have to slide at all. Right. You don't have to worry about running past the bag. You're not going to be out. There's no reason to slide. I don't know why there's any debate about this. You'd think all of this. People love it. You'd think there'd be scientific studies that would show it. You think this would be fundamentally trained into every baseball team. I mean, are they talking to Charlie, your son in little league about sliding into first base? I, I have. It's dangerous he it's cool. too. He is the other thing. He thinks it's cool, and I'm like, dude, don't ever slide. Oh, it's boy. gonna stop your momentum. Plus, speed. he doesn't have to slide. You see, you could hurt your hand. You, you get your hand stepped on. It's, you see it's my just... kids' numbers. He doesn't have to slide. <laughs> we should have a running total on this. I, I, you did post things on social media. It was an impressive opening day for Charlie. Holy so. crap! Congrats. I was like, I was like a pig and shit, man. <laughs> That's a proud papa. Proud papa.
Wordhole Media.